Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to go for predicted April 2024 speaking retail lecture. So let's start. So I will be using this format. So let us understand this format. The lecture was about, firstly, the speaker was talking about, secondly, he was mentioning, thirdly, he was explaining. It gives important information about many facts. Finally, the lecture was all about. Now, this is a format. Please remember, this is not a template. This is just a format. We can use these words, these phrases, to make it sure that we get very good score. But I will give you more formats also. But right now, I'm going to give you this format. So make it very sure. Whenever you're using this kind of a format, try to change the words, try to understand, try to make some notes. These are very important things of reteller lecture. So let's start reteller lecture. In today's talk, I want to discuss the power of mindfulness and how it contributes to our mental health. Mindfulness is a state of being aware of the present moment, helping us pay attention to our thoughts and feelings in a non-judgmental way. A key aspect of mindfulness is stress reduction. Through mindfulness practices like meditation, we learn to calm our minds, reducing anxiety and improving our mood. For instance, a study shows that students who practice mindfulness report lower stress levels and better concentration. Moreover, mindfulness enhances emotional resilience. It teaches us to observe our emotions without getting overwhelmed. This skill is particularly valuable in navigating the ups and downs of college life, where emotional challenges are common. In conclusion, mindfulness offers a powerful tool for mental well-being aiding in stress management and emotional resilience. I encourage everyone to explore this practice, as it can greatly enhance our overall quality of life. Now, we will see how to write, retell a lecture, and then how to speak on it. So this is the thing what I have written. Let us see how many words. Keep this in mind that whenever we are doing retail election, we should have something close to, you know, 80 to 120 words approximately, depending on the speed. So if your speed is slow or fast, accordingly, you should figure out how many words you have to speak. So let's start. The lecture was about the importance of mindfulness for mental health. Firstly, the speaker emphasized the fundamental concept of mindfulness as non-judgmental awareness of thoughts and emotions. Secondly, he highlighted specific mindfulness practices such as meditation for achieving mental clarity and emotional balance. Thirdly, he explained how mindfulness effectively reduces stress and anxiety, supported by empirical evidence from research studies. It gives important information about the profound impact of mindfulness on well-being. Finally, the lecture concluded with a strong affirmation of mindfulness as a powerful tool for managing stress and emotions, ultimately enhancing overall life quality. This was about 81 words. Now, in case you're looking for a paid classes, you should contact this number. And we will give you a lot of other techniques also on how to manage things. But again, make it sure that practice is the key to success. If you do not practice, PT is a very tricky exam. It is very difficult to get marks in case you do not practice. Let's practice predicted retail lecture number two. So let's see, what is it? I will be using the same format again so that you are very clear with how the format is used. This is my prediction too. The transformative power of travel in personal growth is significant. Travel is more than a leisure activity. It's a journey of education and self-discovery. Travel broadens our horizons. Stepping out of our comfort zones exposes us to different cultures and lifestyles. For example, visiting diverse countries introduces us to new languages, customs, and values, offering lessons beyond any textbook. Additionally, travel enhances adaptability and independence. It often presents unexpected challenges, 
like navigating language barriers or unfamiliar streets. Overcoming these hurdles teaches us to make decisions and adapt quickly. Travel is a potent tool for personal development. It not only offers entertainment but also teaches survival and growth in unfamiliar environments. So, I encourage you all, when the opportunity arises, to travel and explore our beautiful and vast world. Okay, now in the real exam, you will definitely not be seeing this. You will be hearing just the audio. I have given this because this is a predicted thing and that is why I'm giving it to you. Otherwise, you should not practice with the text. This is a predicted thing, so you'll know what is going to come. Okay, so now let us speak on the retailer lecture on the same thing. The lecture was about the educational and self-discovery aspects of travel. Firstly, the speaker emphasized that travel extends beyond leisure, serving as a journey for personal growth. Secondly, he highlighted how venturing beyond comfort zone exposes individuals to diverse cultures languages and lifestyles expanded their horizons. Thirdly, he explained that facing unexpected challenges while traveling fosters adaptability and independence. It gives important information about the transformative power of travel experiences. Finally, the lecture concluded with a call to embrace the opportunity to travel, urging everyone to discover the beauty and diversity of the world. 78 words does very well, in 40 seconds, we are done with it. In the next one, I'm going to teach you the same format. This will be the last time I'm doing this format, then I will change the format. This is the third prediction now. Again, make it very sure. You just listen. Keep on making notes when you listen to my lecture. Watch this video five, six times so that you are absolutely clear on how to speak. Let's start with the third one. In this talk, I want to emphasize the importance of lifelong learning, a journey that extends beyond the confines of traditional education. In a world that is constantly evolving, the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending process. Lifelong learning keeps us relevant and adaptive. As technology and societal norms change, continuous learning enables us to stay updated and skilled. For instance, learning new languages or technological skills opens up opportunities in a globalized job market. Furthermore, lifelong learning enhances personal growth. It's not just about career advancement. It's about broadening our horizons, understanding diverse perspectives, and cultivating a more fulfilling life. The pursuit of knowledge shouldn't end at graduation. Lifelong learning is a key to not only professional success but also personal enrichment. Let's embrace this journey with enthusiasm and curiosity. Now a golden tip. Whenever you are listening to the lecture, make it sure you are making notes along. If you do not make the notes, it is not possible for you to speak out the retail lecture. What notes to make? Any new point which is there, just note down the points. You have the format, fix the points in that, and your retail lecture is complete. Let's see how to solve this one. Again, I'm using the same format. The lecture was about the significance of lifelong learning. Firstly, the speaker emphasized that it extends beyond traditional education, serving as an ongoing journey. Secondly, he mentioned how lifelong learning keeps individuals relevant and adaptive in an ever-evolving world. Thirdly, he explained how continuous learning enables individuals to stay updated and skilled in the face of technological and societal changes. It gives important information about the broad benefits of lifelong learning, including personal growth and career advancement. Finally, the lecture concluded with a call to embrace lifelong learning as a key to both professional success and personal enrichment. Another tip, whenever you're doing retail a lecture, you can definitely pick up words from the lecture and speak them again, not a problem. Let's go to the fourth prediction. This is the fourth prediction. I'm gonna change the format here. Now let us read the format. The lecture revolved around, initially, 
in place of firstly i have written initially the speaker discussed in place of secondly i have done additionally he brought up instead of thirdly i put up moreover he elaborated on it provided valuable insights into numerous facts ultimately the lecture centered on instead of conclusion i have written ultimately the lecture centered on so this is another format format two we will practice this two times here comes prediction number 4 Octopuses are creatures renowned for their remarkable intelligence and adaptability. These mysterious inhabitants of the deep offer insights into the complexity and wonders of marine life. Octopuses are known for their extraordinary cognitive abilities. They can solve puzzles, navigate mazes, and even use tools, demonstrating a level of intelligence that challenges our understanding of animal behavior. For instance, their ability to escape from secure tanks in aquariums has baffled scientists and underscored their problem-solving skills. Furthermore, their unique biology is equally captivating. Octopuses can change color and texture to blend into their surroundings, an incredible adaptation for both hunting and evading predators. This camouflage ability, combined with their intelligence, makes them one of the most intriguing species in the ocean. The study of octopuses not only fascinates us but also deepens our appreciation for the diversity and complexity of life in our oceans. Their intelligence and adaptability continue to inspire and intrigue the scientific community and beyond. Okay. So now we have done this and made some notes also. Let's sort it out how to speak. the lecture revolved around the extraordinary intelligence and adaptability of octopuses initially the speaker discussed how these creatures offered insights into the complexity of marine life additionally he brought up their remarkable cognitive abilities such as problem solving and tool usage moreover he elaborated on their unique biology particularly their ability to change color and texture for camouflage it provided valuable insights into numerous facts about octopuses ultimately the lecture centered on how studying octopuses deepens our appreciation for the diversity and complexity of life in our oceans 78 words pretty good let's see number 5 again we have the same format the lecture revolved around initially the speaker discussed additionally he brought up moreover he elaborated on it provided valuable insights into numerous facts ultimately the lecture centered on let us hear the next one today i am honored to talk about the apollo moon landing a momentous event that marked a new era in human history on july 20th 1969 apollo 11 landed on the moon turning science fiction into reality and opening a new chapter in space exploration the apollo moon landing was not just a technological triumph It represented the culmination of human curiosity, ingenuity, and determination. It showed the world what can be achieved when we dare to dream big and work tirelessly towards that dream. The iconic words of Neil Armstrong, "That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind," encapsulated the significance of the moment. This landmark achievement also had profound implications beyond space exploration. It spurred advancements in technology, some of which we use in our everyday lives, like satellite communications and numerous aerospace innovations. In conclusion, the Apollo moon landing stands as a testament to human potential. It serves as an inspiration to all of us, reminding us that with ambition and collaboration, we can reach beyond the stars. Now this was the last prediction. We have many more prediction in our classroom studies in case you wish to know these predictions give us a call on the number given below in the description box you have a toll free number and you have number for the online classes so let's go and find out the solution for this particular one the lecture revolved around the apollo moon landing a pivotal event in human history initially the speaker discussed the significance of apollo 11 landing on the moon on july 20th 1969 marking a milestone in space exploration additionally he brought up how moon landing symbolized human curiosity ingenuity and determination reaching fruition moreover he elaborated on the broader implications of the achievement including technological advancements like satellite communications 
It provided valuable insights into the profound impact of the Apollo mission. Ultimately, the lecture centered on the enduring inspiration provided by the moon landing, reminding us of the heights we can achieve through ambition and collaboration. Now, again, remember one thing, we have copied almost same vocabulary what was spoken in retailer lecture, formed into our own lecture and spoken it out. That is the easiest way to do it. Now you have the tips, you have the format, and you know how to figure it out by making notes. Use these three techniques and make it sure that your retail lecture goes great. With this, we come to the end of our session today. I will get you some more predicted things on this channel. Subscribe this channel, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. All the best.